Oh, there goes the washing machine. Um, so it's 25 to 10. Um, I'm just going to have a day of cleaning today. Um, I've kind of let the house go to shit because I knew that I was going to have a cleaning day today. Um, I've got friends coming over on Saturday, so that's kind of good motivation to get stuff done. Um, just stuff like that that just never ever gets put put away. And then once I've done all that, I've like got the um, cover for this in the wash. Well, no, it's been washed, it's drying. Um, and then I'm going to wash all the throws, wash the curtains, wash the dog's bed, all that stuff. Unfortunately, it's pouring down today. Um, so I've just, um, I just dried some towels in the dryer. And I don't know why, but our dryer stinks. I don't know why. So um, I've just made this kind of, I don't know if you can see, but I've put the washing line underneath the porch, kind of moved it so it's underneath the porch just to air it out a bit because yesterday the towels that I dried in the dryer um, I then pulled outside and then I realised the smell had gone. Um, so yeah, I'm just doing that, just kind of airing them out. Um, yeah, I don't know what it is because I've got a washer dryer and the washer doesn't smell. Like Clothes always smell nice. In fact, people always compliment me on the smell of my washing. <clears throat> But, um, for some reason, the dryer just has this horrible smell to it. <coughs> I've been very poorly. Um, as you know, last week when I signed off, Matthew was poorly. He was throwing up as well, but, um, you know, it's, it's the cold side of it that I've got. Um, I did feel sick, but I wasn't ever sick. Um, yesterday, I completely had no voice whatsoever. Keeps drying out now. Um which is something that I am prone to whenever I get ill. Actually, sometimes I'm not even ill, I just lose my voice. It's just a hazard of the job. Um, but it's happened four times this year. Oh, over 18 months it's happened four times. Um, but last time it was for eight days. This time at least it was only yesterday, although it is starting to go again. Um, but other than to talk to you guys, I'm not going to speak today. I'm just going to rest my voice. I'm just going to get the cleaning done um yeah so that's today i'm gonna nip to powers director <coughs> later on i've forgotten what for now oh coffee and stuff right anyway so it's about 10 to 2 now i'm just gonna um nip to pound stretch and get some bits and pieces from there and morrison's um, might also have a quick look in sainsbury's at the homeware excuse me um, yeah, I've just been cleaning this morning. The house is in that kind of in-between state of like half being done half. An absolute tip. Um, but I'm just feeling pretty rotten now, to be honest. My head's hurting. I'm just feeling really worn out. Just from this cold, you know, just feeling a bit drained. So I think I'm going to go and do that. Go home and walk the dog. And then I'll just carry on tomorrow. I'm just going to leave it for now, I think. I don't know. See how I feel when I get back, but yeah feeling pretty exhausted morning so I didn't end up filming yesterday really because I just ended up feeling so poorly I didn't even make it to pound stretcher I think that's where I was going last time I spoke to you oh the sun oh it's so bright um I went to Sainsbury's and then I thought you know what just grab some bits while I'm here and go home because I just felt utterly rotten so Today, I'm still feeling a bit rotten, but nowhere near as bad. Nesca's feeling rotten, bless her. She didn't eat a single bite yesterday. She didn't have anything to eat. Um, she didn't have anything to drink. Um, she did in the end, because I've got this, um, it's like um, rehydrating, oh, I forgot the packet, no. It's like flavored water, basically, for, to get dogs drinking if they haven't drunk. Um, it's got like electrolytes in it to you know, replenish anything if they've been sick or whatever. Um, and she wasn't sick, but she had awful diarrhea, awful diarrhea at 5.30 this morning outside next door's door. So luckily they are on holiday, but I think they're back today. So I've cleaned it as best I can, but I'm gonna go to pound stretch and get some yard cleaning stuff and disinfectant and things like that because there's still a bit of a stain. So she has had something to eat this morning. She just had some chicken. And she just had a little treat then. But yeah, she's still not she's not at her best. I did walk her last night, um, which she did enjoy. Um but yeah, she's got a dicky tummy, haven't you? As you do. She's very sensitive and it is an English setter. 
thing, um, a trait of theirs to have sensitive tummy, so whether she's eaten something she shouldn't have. Right, anyway, the time is 25 to 10. Um, can't bother to dry my hair, I'm just going to go like this. I'm going to go to pound stretcher. Um, but then I'm going to come home and I'm going to do all the jobs that I wanted to do yesterday, but ended up just feeling too ill to do. So today I've got more to do because I've got all the house to do and the yard to do. So, yeah. Disaster has struck. So I'm driving along. I just called back into Sainsbury's because I wanted to get that throw that I saw yesterday. Anywho, I'm driving along. I only go and see next door's car, don't I? Going towards our house. Now, it wasn't them driving, but those are the people in the car that I didn't see. It wasn't either of them driving. So I'm like, mm, either someone's borrowing the car when they're away or someone's been picking up from the airport in their car or whatever. But anyway, I think next door might be heading home and there is literally a shit stain right outside their back door. Like I've cleaned it up as much as I can, but it's stained like the concrete. So that's why I was like, oh, I'll go and get some proper cleaning stuff, like disinfectant from, <sighs> oh no. So if it was them heading home, it's definitely their car because they've got a private number plate, um, personalised number plate. Um, so I know it was their car. <laughs> Oh no, I hope if it was them um, heading home that they don't open the back door, but they're probably going to, aren't they? They're smokers, so we go outside to smoke. Oh no. Oh no. Right, anyway, I've still got to get to blubbing pound stretcher yet to get the actual cleaning stuff. <sighs> so I've just pulled up. Next door's car is not on the street, so, so far so good. And it looks like there's nobody in. I think I've been lucky. I don't think they're back, so... I've just been and poured some um, disinfectant solution outside, like, you know, it's like made for pet stains and odours. So I've poured that. I've got a new brush that I'm going to go and sweep it with. I've got some rubber gloves. I'm going to go and sort it out. <laughs> Hopefully they're not back or they haven't, like, nipped home and gone out or anything. With the dog now, who has picked up a lot. She's doing really well now, so... Don't know what that was, just a little, you know what she's like with a sensitive dummy. Um, but she seems to be back in full swing of it now, so that's good. Oh, it's quite warm today actually. Yesterday it was cold and rainy, but today is lovely and sunny and quite warm. I've taken my jumper off, as you can see. Um, right, I've got to try and get through this gate now, so we managed to get through the gate. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so just enjoying our walk. Well, she's enjoying the walk. Look at how much she pulls. I don't enjoy the walk. <laughs> I would if she didn't pull so much. Um, yeah, I've just been doing the housework today. I've been cracking on. I've like cleaned all the stairs, um, like with a window scraper to get all the dog hairs off. Um, I did that about three or four months ago, but I mean, I can't believe the amount of... And I've got a really good hoover as well. I've got a shark, but amazing how them dog hairs get caught in the carpet so yeah I'm oh, feeling good there still need to finish off I've still got stuff to do but I thought Nesca needed a walk so um, I'll go back and carry on with that I also need to go and pick up I ordered some jeans from Matalan and this morning when I went to Pound Stretch which is next to Matalan um, pretty much as soon as I get home I get a text message saying that my jeans are there so that was a bit annoying oh there's a sheep charging at me Oh no! <laughs> Please don't get me sheep. Oh crikey. Oh no. Oh I don't like it. It's like running towards us. Um, I'm keeping an eye on you Mr. Sheep. Mrs. Sheep. Um, okay. There you go. He saw us off. You won. Oh Christ. Yeah, um, so I need to go to Matalan, which is annoying, and pick them up. I'm going out tomorrow night, so that's what I wanted them for, really, if they fit. Um, and then Lily's coming round. She wants me to do her toenails, pet her toenails, and um, she's going to come round for tea because she's off to uni tomorrow. So it's the last time we'll see her for a while. So goodness me.
and I am done. Oh my goodness, it feels so much better in here, so much cleaner, everything's been washed and it just feels better. Just feels good to have a good old clean up sometimes, doesn't it? Even the dog's bed's been washed, the curtains have been washed, so everything's smelling lovely. Um, so yeah, that's a good job done. Nesca is fast asleep. <laughs> oh, she is actually. Sorry, I've woken up. Um, yeah, so that's a good feeling. Should I give you a little house tour? Should I show? Uh, mind you, it won't really. Do you want to see? Should I show you what I've done? You won't really be able to tell though, to be honest, because it's like jobs like cleaning the dog hair off the stairs and got rid of all them letters from there and stuff like that. I'll show you anyway. So here is the ignore the birds cage that gets cleaned tomorrow. Here is the living room all clean. The um, couch covers have been washed. All the cushion covers and the throws have been washed. I got this um, fake plant here from um, Sainsbury's today i would love to have real plants but unfortunately this one who's chewing a leg um eats them and so do the birds and you know what i cannot find a single house plant that is both safe for dogs and birds it's, if it's safe for dogs it's poisonous to birds if it's safe for birds it's poisonous for dogs it seems to be um so but anyway is there any point anyway because they would eat them and then there's the kitchen as you said a million times before but i had like loads of letters and stuff stacked up on here so they've all just been shoved in a different drawer to be honest um so yeah that's all that done tea is out on the sides we get it all made ready to be cooked and here's my baby girl here's my baby away from the clean cushions and then we go up the stairs. There's Dicey's collar. Here is my photo wall, which I love. Oh, Nessie's following us. And then from this angle, if we go up these stairs, we've got our drawers with all hats and scarves and things like that in. And then there's some more pictures of me and the boy and Dice. And then we go into the bathroom. I really like my bathroom. This part being one of my favourite parts of the place. I don't know why, but I just really like it. these yesterday as well these are from Sainsbury's some new knobs I thought they were quite nice kind of match the um whatever that is mat that cupboard just has the boiler in it that's why it doesn't matter that it's blocked up and then into my room which is probably there's Nessie probably my least favorite room of the house oh no actually no the kitchen is of course it is There is my bedroom. My cupboards are bursting open. They need decluttering. Um, got some nice clean bedding on, so I'm looking forward to getting into that later. And look at this, where Nesca has chewed the legs of my desk. The naughty girl. And then we go up some more stairs here. That mirror is going to go up there between them um, and that basket is all the odd socks. So yeah, we go up the stairs, up to this giant clock, another mirror <laughs> and then I have this um, scrabble thing. Oh, I've also got a, a row of... Um, picture frames to go up here and then we come up here into my craft room or slash laundry room because there's always washing being dried or waiting to be put away hello again so there is the craft room 
I, this was like orange pine and I sanded it all down. It took forever. <coughs> and then we go into Matt's room. Just do a quick brief look around here because obviously it's his room and really it's his kind of responsibility to keep this sorted. But there is Matt's room. He also has clean bedding on. Now, there we go. And that is our little house tour. Thought I'd show you. Like I say, it probably doesn't look any different to you because, well, it isn't really any different. It's just generally cleaner. And that's a good feeling. Right, um, it's about, I think it's about half far, is it now? Should be able to tell you what all these clocks are about, shouldn't I? Yeah, 25 to 5. So, I think I might nip to Matalan now and go and pick up them jeans, I reckon. Yeah show you that um, I got this little basket today. I got this little basket today to put blankets in because I went to Sainsbury's and bought this blanket, this checkered one, because um, I thought it'd look good on the back of the couch, but um, actually I didn't really like the way it looked. Um, well, that wasn't why I got the basket. I got the basket anyway. Uh, we're thinking I'll put these throws in it. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but actually I didn't like the way that one looked on the back of the couch so I've decided to put it in there. So I'll still use it. It's only £5 something. Um, it's not really showing up the colour though. It's like um, cream and... That was grey but it's like I think it's like a sage green colour. Um, but anyway, I thought I'd just put it in there instead. Um, and also that kind of... There's some like horrible exposed pipes down there. So it just kind of covers that up it does block the stairs a little bit but I don't think it really matters it's not like can't see it's going to get in anyone's way or anything like that so there we go okay. I'm home from Matalan picked my jeans up haven't tried them yet they're still literally just walked in and um, also I had to go to B&M Baggins to get a kettle because my kettle's broken but I love my kettle it looks like a teapot um, and I got it from Pound Stretcher years ago, but I can't, they don't seem to have it anymore, so. <sighs> anyway, I'll plug this boring one in. Because I can't really be without a kettle, can you? Hello, good evening. So it is ten to five, I'm home from work, excuse the state of me. I look a bloody mess. Um, and also I've been trying on lipsticks, which is my, why my mouth looks a bit bit strange um i am in fact going out tonight so i'm rushing around like a mad thing i've just got in from work i've just let the birds out i've kind of half-heartedly cleaned their cage I haven't really i've just like changed the paper in the bottom which i feel a bit guilty about but i just don't really have time <laughs> that's an awful thing to say isn't it but um i'll do it properly either let's be honest i'm probably going to be rough tomorrow monday i'll do it i'll do it properly on monday um yeah so right now i'm gonna I have to put my foot massage room because Otherwise, I'm going to be in agony. I'm going to paint my nails. Um, I've got a bath run. So, yeah, the birds are just sat there. They need to come out and stretch the wings because they're not going to have very much time out of their cage tonight. So, come on, chop, chop. Get playing. Come on. Um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to going out tonight. I'm going out with Mel and Lindsay. I can't remember if I've already said this earlier on or not. But, yeah, looking forward to that. So, Mel's coming here about, I think she's coming around about quarter past seven-ish, something like that. Um, look at my hair, I don't know what's happened. Oh, the bird's been on my head, that's what happened to it. I was like, why is it like that? Thinking, oh, it's not been like that all day. But no, the birds have been sat on my head, and that is why. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do my feet. I'm going to have a quick hoover round. Um, and then get in the bath. I think actually, no point in hoovering until after the birds have gone away. Let's be honest, excuse me. So yeah, I'm looking forward to tonight. I'm still not feeling 100%, which is a shame. I wish I was a bit more like just feeling a bit better but there we go i don't know where matt is i've tried ringing him he's out somewhere i imagine in his car which is why he's not answering so yeah hey i could ring him tonight to come and pick us up can i from the pub oh there's an idea will he want to be get get dragged out of bed at like one o'clock in the morning or to come and pick his drunk mum and her friends up i don't know Good morning. So I am still in bed as you can see. I'm saying good morning. It's about quarter past twelve. Um I went out last night, got a bit drunk. I didn't get to film before I went out or anything because um I just suddenly ran out of time and I was 
getting ready so quickly. So, um, yeah, we just went into town. I got home about, I think it's about quarter past two this morning. Um, yeah, I woke up at 7am this morning feeling absolutely horrendous. Went back to sleep, woke up about an hour ago. And I don't feel too bad now. I mean, you can hear my voice is a bit deep. It's a bit... Ugh. But I'm not feeling too bad, although I am, I am craving a McDonald's. So, maybe in a bit. Oh, God. Oh, I need to go and do the shopping as well, though, so I do have to get up at some point. Um, just had a lovely FaceTime off Lily. Lily's gone to uni now. Um, and, yeah, I just had a FaceTime off her. She showed me, like, around her student... Um, digs her room and her kitchen and that and oh my goodness it's so nice she's in a brand new build and um everything's lovely like really nice furniture nice gray wall white furniture oh it looks lovely kitchen's all brand new so yeah she's done really well there um she was also out last night so she's feeling a bit worse for her and she was just saying it's really weird because um nobody else is up and uh, she lives with like se it's a seven of them i think there's seven like six other people I think it is <coughs> nobody else is up she's just wandering around and she said it feels really strange because obviously at her house there's like little kids in the house and stuff and it's always a bit a bit chaotic if you will there's always like stuff going on whereas there it's at the moment really quiet I said it won't always be quiet not with seven people will it or however many there is I'm not sure so anyway it's really nice to see her and hear from her and yeah, she's having a good time, so yeah, that's really good. Right, I'm going to force myself to, I've, I've had a cup of coffee and that. I'm going to force myself to have a shower. I'm feeling pretty grotty. And I guess go and do the shopping and maybe get a little cheeky McDonald's. Yeah, I think so. Okay, so I managed to drag my out, <laughs> drag myself out shopping. I'm home now, my head is pounding, oh my goodness. So Matt's gone to pick the dog up for me. It is now in fact 25 to four, oh my goodness. Um, oh, excuse, excuse me. Um, I'm really craving McDonald's, but I can't be bothered to go down there. I really can't, so I think I might get Domino's just because um, they deliver. So, yeah, I'll wait for Matt to get home and see if he wants any or whether he's going out, I don't know. We shall see. So, yeah. I can't see myself doing it. I've got really sore dry lips. Mm. Can't see myself doing anything else for the rest of the day. Just watch a bit of Netflix, I reckon. Either watch a crime documentary or watch a funny film. One or the other. Two completely opposite things. <laughs> So, yeah, I shall see. Okay, so, I've just got my dominoes, Matthew didn't want anything. So, I've got some kickers and wedges, and then I've also got a veggie wrap. So, and um, I ordered some extra honey and mustard dip, but they didn't have any. So, they bought like a selection of all the other dips for me to choose from. And I got a sweet chili dip. I've never had that before. I don't know if it's new or whether I've just never seen it before, but I shall look forward to trying that. Good morning. So it's Monday morning, um, on my way to work now. Um, I'm actually working on my own this week. Woo um, I actually like working on my own. Um, just because although it is harder, harder work because you're on your own and it's non-stop busy, I just find that when you're on your own, nothing can go wrong. Like, yeah, anyway, I won't go into it, but I think it's just easier looking after yourself. Um, right. So yeah, that's, I haven't actually edited this week's vlog yet, so I don't know how much footage I've got, what I've got, I've no idea. So hopefully I will get a chance to do that on my lunch today, but like I said, I'm on my own, so it's going to be very busy, so we shall see. So hopefully this is up on time, who knows? Well, you know, you know now, don't you? And I know now, um, but not, not now, now as you're watching. You know what I mean. Right, anyway, it's a lovely day. I've put the washing out. Um, I've been up since half past six. I've got quite a lot done this morning, actually. Although, I haven't finished drying my hair and I'm kind of running late for work now. But off I go. Right, anyway, thank you all for watching. I hope you've had a lovely weekend and I shall see you next week. <laughs>